Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about how to create a dependent lookup and, uh, and add in your forms. So to create the lookup, so uh, here I have created uh, the two entities in the service area. So the entity is the con is country and city. So now these two entities uh, will create a lookup in the contact entities and those lookup will be show in the uh, contact creation form at the time of contact create. So we will select the uh, country and city at the time of contact creation. So this is our requirement. Okay. So now let's go to the uh, country entity so that we can see that what are the records available in the country entity. So in the country entity we have only two countries on the India and the United States and if I go to uh, the city so here you can see that we have the we have the four cities on the Delhi, Kolkata, Los Angeles and New York so Delhi is uh, basically uh, it's a city of India so it's a country here you can see the relationship we have created and it uh, belongs to the India uh, and if we go to the New York so here you can see that we have the United States uh, country. So now uh, what we'll do, we'll go, we'll go to uh, we'll go to contact entities and we'll create two fields and two lookup fields with associate with the city and country. So now, now let's go to uh, the settings solutions so i have created one solutions here is the solution the dependent lookup so in this solutions what i did i have added the two entities country city and the additional entities is the contact so because we need to create the two lookup fields in the contact entities uh with associate with the city or country right so let's create the two lookup fields here so here is the uh, we are creating the new fields. So let's uh, give a name like country country lookup. So this is uh, the type field type is the lookup, and this is basically related to the country entity. So now uh, let's create the uh, it's uh, whatever it could say optional or mandatory so let's keep it optional and save and close now once it will create we'll create the another lookup fields called the city right so it's have created so now created another lookup fields called city let's put it nice name new city uh, here i put city here it is also the lookup fields let's create lookup and uh, select the entities we have the city entities okay so it's also the keep it the optional save and close so now what we'll do we'll uh, once it will create i will add those these two fields city and country in the contact forms right so let's go to the forms so we have added two fields country and city so we'll add this in the active main forms so let's open the forms uh, in this forms what we'll do will add the country and city so what is our country city this is our city and this is our country okay so now we have added the country and city so let's publish save and publish so it's um, publish now save and close so now open uh, a contact create forms let's go to let's open to contact creation forms okay let's see first 
because we have published the customer creation forms so now if I go to my service contact now click on new <coughs> so here is my country and city lookup is populated but the problem is here all the city is populating right so now how to achieve the filter condition how to give the filter condition here so it's nothing let's go to the form editors and you need to you need to filter the city so you need to click on city so city it's a lookup right so you need to here you can see in the field properties only show records so you need to select this the related record filterings and in, uh, you need to choose the for which entities so this is the related of the country entities and we need to click on ok let's save and publish let's save and close let's refresh let this page so now what we did that it will show the related records choose whatever you choose in the the country lookup so let's open uh, the country lookup let's uh, uh, open the customer creation form so it's uh, already open so as we have uh, only the refresh the page so now choose the India so here you can see it's showing the related records it does not show the New York and Los, Angel Los Angeles city right so if you select the United States here let's select United States it will show related cities now the big problem is here so if you delete this one the cities for example you delete these cities now you are selecting the oh, oh no 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 it's, okay let's uh, go back again so if you select here it's showing the all the cities because you have not select the any country and as a result it's showing all the cities so now what you need to do you need to stop this city selections until and unless you select the country so you need to think about that what you need to do that you need to lock the city records the child records if there is no parent record has been selected so now uh, there is many way you can do this we can do this uh, you know by javascript and we can do this another option that is business rules so let's apply the business rules so we don't need to create any codes uh, only without code you can achieve this functionality so let's uh, go to the form editors and apply one business rules like select the business rules and create one business rules so in the business rules so you can see there is a in the in the in the dynamic 365 the new business rule 
the design has been changed so here is the condition so in the condition you need to add the what conditions so in that case what is our condition if country is not does not contain data then we'll log the field city so if so country let's have a uh, first keep the business rules names okay so country city on change on change rule okay so description also have the same so now in our case so we have already added the condition already added here so let's display name is the country does not contain data <coughs> so here sorry excuse me uh, here the country does not contain data so see your country does not contain data so no our condition is that country does not contain data country does not contain data so what you will do you need to add one action so what action lock the field so lock the city field field so you have the which field you want to lock you want to lock the field city so let's apply so by applying this it's already applied and you want to add another another action what is set field value and you need to set field value is you need to clear the value right apply clear city value apply so now uh, our uh, rule is ready that if country does not contain the data then we will log the field and clear the city fields now what happen with the else conditions if it contains data so we should unlock the field so let's add one condition here so the our condition is that country contains data country contains data so now we need to add now we need to apply this so country contains data now we need to add another action that unlock the Unlock city field. So to city unlock. Okay. So now our condition is ready. So just uh, revisit once again if country does not contain data we will do log the city field and clear the city field and if country contains data 
what we will do we will unlock the city field so let's save and validate so validation is the successful now we need to activate this your business rules so it's activated now I am going to close this so now uh, your business rules is ready so now save and we do on publish let's save and close and refresh your page because you have uh, published your business rules in the contact forms which are uh, uh, what you added so what I have added so now what I will do we will go to contacts and create new contacts so let's see whatever what I we did so it has applied or not so here you can see that CT is blocked and if you select the United States so now your CT is unlocked so now if we if we if we remove this if we remove this now your CT got clear and if we again select this India so your value is populated so now if you go to the lookup record so you could not find any any United States city here so so this is all uh, you know uh, you can implement uh, your dependent lookup uh, in this way so I hope you have enjoyed this video thank you uh, thank you for, for watching and have a great day thank you